Hello everyone. In this video, I'll take up few problems to understand the concepts uh, whichever you have studied so far. To make it very clear, let us solve few of the problems. Take up the first problem. Determine whether or not the vectors in R cube are linearly dependent. I told you the elementary operations, the matrices all play a pivotal role in the in the linear algebra because every vector can be represented as a rows of a matrix. So what I'll do is three vectors given to you. I'll construct a matrix with these vectors as rows 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 5. You have to apply the elementary operation and bring it to the echelon form or reduced row echelon form, anything is fine. Um, and check how many non-zero rows you have. If you have two non-zero rows then uh, and one zero row, then they are not uh, linearly independent because uh, that particular row which, is a, which becomes a zero row, uh, that is a linear combination of a previous two rows. Let us do that. So, first row as it is, R2 changes to R2 minus 2, R1, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 minus 6, uh, that is equal to minus, uh, no, 1 minus 4, it is equal to minus 3, 4 minus 4, 0, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, and 5 minus 8 is minus 3. Now, third row changes to R3 minus R2. So, 1, 0, 1 minus 3, 0, 0, 0. I, now, this is in the row echelon form. I have not made it to row reduced echelon form because I have to check is there 0 row. If there is a 0 row, the vectors are linearly dependent. If there is no 0 row, then the vectors are linearly independent. The vectors are linearly dependent. It has 1, 0 row. Third vector, that means this vector, this in the sense, this vector 4, 5, 5 is a linear combination of first two vectors uh, because its span becomes embedded within the span of those two vectors. Hence, these vectors are linearly dependent. Let us take one more problem. Determine whether these four vectors form a basis of R power 4. If not, find the dimension of the subspace they span. You have to check is it a basis. To make a basis, it should be a linearly independent. Second condition is span of that uh, set of vectors should be equal to the entire vector space. Entire vector space is nothing but R4 here. Let us uh, write a matrix with the, all these vectors as uh, its rows. Now bring it down to the row echelon form. So here I am applying uh, R2 changes to R2 minus R1 because I have to make this is the pivot entry of the first row. So uh, below the pivot everything should be 0. So this is R2 minus minus R1, R3 minus 2R1, R4 minus 2R1. So, if you apply that, it becomes 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 1, 1, 2 minus 2, 0, 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, 6 minus 2 is 4, 8 minus 2 is 6 and 5 minus 2 is 3. In the same way, next, all these entries made. This is the first non-zero entry of the second row. Now, elements below the first non-zero entry must be made zero. So, R3 changes to R3 minus 3 R2. R4 changes to R4 minus 4 R2. So, apply those operations. It comes out to be like this. Now, this is the first non-zero entry of third row. Apply the operation. Uh, elements below the first non-zero entry must be equal to zero. So, R4 changes to R4 minus of uh, R3 that gives you minus 2 minus of minus plus 2 0. So now the fourth row becomes a 0 row. So what we have to check is are they linearly independent? Are they form a basis of R4? First of all, they should be linearly independent. If there is a 0 row, the vectors can never form a linearly independent sets. Set, therefore, uh, the vectors are linearly dependent. So, if the vectors are linearly dependent, they can't be basis. So, if they are not basis, definitely their span will give you some space. So, to that space, you have to find out what is the uh, basis or what is the dimension of that space spanned by those four vectors, which is nothing but subspace of R4. Let us do that. You have seen in the previous problem that... Uh, these rows, these are these first three rows are non-zero rows. They are linearly independent. So basis is nothing but these uh, first three rows in the echelon form forms a basis. The corresponding three rows of the given matrix R1, R2, R3 forms a basis. That chance is also there. That is the possibility. So 
span of above four vectors is nothing but row space of A and row space of is, uh, A is a subspace of R4. It is not entirely equal to R4 because you found a vector which is a linear combination of previous three vectors. Hence, it is uh, not a basis but it will span a subspace of R4. For that subspace, these three uh, non-zero rows act as basis and the corresponding three rows of the given matrix also act as basis. Now let W be the subspace of R power 5 spanned by these vectors. Find a subset of the vectors that form a basis of W. So first write all these as a uh, rows of a matrix. Then reduce it to the row echelon form. Okay. Now in this case find a subset of the vectors that form a basis of W. Okay. So I want a subset of the vectors from this only. I want subset of the vectors that form basis of this W. So what I will do is, now I will uh, go with the help of columns. I will not count. If you count also, you will get uh, there are, uh, there should be three vectors in the basis of the space spanned by these vectors. That is because three non-zero rows. So dimension of W equal to three or else you can count number of uh, columns which have pivot. First column has pivot, second column has no pivot, third column has pivot and uh, fifth column has pivot. So, one, one, zero, 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 that is the basis, one, one, zero, zero, zero and two, three, minus four, zero, zero, that is one possible basis or the corresponding columns of the given matrix C1, C3 and C5 forms the basis of the given space spanned by these five vectors. So one more question, find the basis and dimension of row space of A equal to, this is the given matrix, I have to find out the dimension of the row space of A. So dimension of the row space of A is not the number of elements in the basis of row space of A. So again the same way, reduce it to the row echelon form, then count how many non-zero rows you have, that are two non-zero rows, so dimension of row space is equal to 2. They have not asked basis. If they have asked basis, these two vectors act as basis. And similarly, the corresponding rows of the given matrix also act as basis. If u equal to span of these three vectors and w equal to span of these, these three vectors, you have to show that u equal to w. Very simple. Form a matrix with the three these three vectors as its rows. Convert it into the echelon form. After converting it into the echelon form, what you should do is uh, you have to com com compare. Instead of echelon form, your row reduced echelon form is best to compare because the echelon forms may not be equal. You have to stay, uh, simplify it further to compare uh, are they equal. So here I am using the row. That's why. Why you need row echelon form, row reduced echelon form. This is the use. In some of the cases, see if you stop here with the row echelon form, then you may not, uh, they may not seem to be equal. But if you reduce it further, then in that case, both the row reduced echelon forms are equal. Hence, row space of A equal to row space of B. Row space of A is nothing but span of these vectors, that is U, and row space of B is W, hence U equal to W. Yes, hope you understood all these uh, uh, solutions. In the next video, I will come up with the system of uh, uh, linear equations and how once again these matrices uh, uh, play their role while solving system of uh, linear equations. Thank you for watching.